the hell do you think you are? Barack Hussein Obama, AKA Barry Sotero, AKA, we don't know who the fuck you truly are. We don't know who you are. What, where did you even come from? You're just some nobody out of Chicago and all of a sudden you're elevated. Just like Kamala. See, it, we already know the game now. You people aren't even real. You're created in a Hollywood studio with script writers and production teams. Why, why do we? Why, why did you take over as and, and to sit on the board of Netflix? And why are you producing movies uh, 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 with Netflix like Leave the World Behind, sending those subliminal, actually very blatant messages? Because you yourself, there, Barry are nothing more than a figment of everybody's imagination and now you're pissed off because black men are seeing through all of the facade and the Hollywood bullshit. Propaganda has worked out well for you, hasn't it there, Barry? Since you did away with the smith Munt Act that forbid, forbade news networks and the media from propagandizing American citizens. You made sure that went away so you could pour as much propaganda into this country and the minds of consciousness as you possibly could, you son of a bitch. I spent seven years of my life fighting your administration, you and Biden, by the way, for my husband's military benefits. My daughter died because of Obamacare. I don't give a fuck about you. And I will be glad when we do not have to see you in the mainstream anymore. Take the money you stole and go back to Kenya. We, we could care less, honestly. But back to the point. This is the problem they have here in Colorado, you see, with these white liberal uh, candidates and, 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 and politicians and the media and, 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 and officials saying that the uh, gang problem with the Venezuelan prison gang is not happening. Disparaging, mocking, and making fun of and, and, and trying to silence the people who live in the affected area and saying it's not happening, it's not happening, it's your imagination. And um, yeah, it is happening. I've walked the streets of the ghetto part of Aurora, not the nice part. There's, there's Aurora's big, okay? This is the ghetto part where they live, where they have taken over apartments, where they have taken over entire areas. Yeah, it's happening, it's real, it's being experienced. I have talked to the people and they confirm it, dude, please. So here we go with you, Obama, once again, trying to convince black men that the last four years of financial Armageddon didn't happen with Harris and Biden being in the White House with you down there in your pajamas and your sweats, you know, pulling the strings, like you said, in that 60 Minutes interview. You think we've forgotten about that? My, your past is coming back to haunt you. We know you people are fake as hell. You were created in some Hollywood studio. You're not, none of you are real. Tim Waltz, all this craziness is coming out about him. You, you're not, you're not even, I, I have no idea how these people take you seriously and think that you're saving democracy. <laughs> you're only bringing communism. That, that's it. You're communists. You're Marxists. You're true believers. And you have been trying to destroy this country since really 2004 there, Barry. Hmm. Should talk about your international trips before you were a public figure. You don't get to mock black men for not wanting Kamala Harris. Nobody is intimidated by her. Nobody. She might not even be a real prosecutor. You could have made that up too. You did with AOC. She literally answered a casting call for Justice Democrats. 
<laughs> and all of a sudden, this dumb bimbo from nowhere, nowhere is since 20, what, 18 has been the Congresswoman in the 14th District of New York has done nothing for constituents. They don't like her, but somehow she keeps getting reelected. Machines go, brr, I don't know. Barry, it's not going to work this time. This is not 2008. You're using the same tactics and you're pissed off because people are not falling down at your feet worshiping you. You don't care about black folks. The only black folks you had in the White House were athletes and celebrities. You didn't give a fuck about the rest of the people. When's the last time you and Michelle went to a youth center on the south side of Chicago? Don't worry, I'll wait. You're not black. She's not black. And I don't give a fuck about color, dude. I don't vote vagina and I don't vote color. I vote on principle and I vote my money. And after the last four years, we have less of it because of the, the cosplay candidate that you are trying to shame black men into voting for. That's not how you get people to come onto your side, stupid. <laughs> Didn't you learn that? I mean, wherever you grew up, who knows? <laughs> so go away. Obama nobody's listening to you you're not going to black men who have already made up their mind to vote for Trump they're voting for Donald Trump because guess what at the beginning and end of the day asshole the only color that matters is green peace